Good evening, everybody. Nice to have you in the class. Welcome, Gabriela. Welcome, Mayra. It's always nice to see you. Julie, you are back. Thank you for joining the class tonight. It's super nice to see you, Cesar. Welcome. And Gabriela, welcome everybody. How are you today, guys? You good? Mm, yes, I'm good. Okay, sounds very good. Okay, sounds very good to me. And I'm happy you are good. Tomorrow we have a day off, right? Day off, Dia Libre, tomorrow. Yes or no? Ah, yes. oh. oh, but from class. I mean, from class, we are not having classes tomorrow. Okay. Then I think, creo que Nayib dijo que tampoco el viernes que le van a declarar también día de asueto. Entonces, les voy a confirmar. Yo tengo que confirmar primero yo si sí, no venimos mañana y tampoco el viernes o solo mañana. Okay. I'm going to confirm you that information, guys. So, but thank you so much for uh, being in the class. Okay, it's 9.09 .09 right now. So we are going to start the class right now. Welcome everybody. Gabriela, thank you for turning on your cameras. Maida as well. Cesar, okay, you are connecting. You can turn on your camera and Dagoberto. So remember, if you have your, your camera on, you are going to have more chance to practice, okay? You are going to have more chances to practice, okay? Very good. Julie, can you help me read this, Julie? ¿Me puede ayudar a leer esto? Oh, you are muted. Unmute. <laughs> okay. Perdón. Okay, very good, no problem. Welcome, ready for some time new? Very good, excellent, good job. Very good, it's something, something. Um, something. New, okay, very good. Okay, and what is this in Spanish? What is this in Spanish, Yuli? Uh, bienvenido. Okay. <laughs> or bienvenido. Uh, ready for a. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Quien sabe? Who knows? Listos para algo nuevo? Yeah, very good. Ready for something new today. We are learning unit number three, okay? Unit number three, very good. Gabriela, what was unit number one about? Unit number one, do you remember? Unit number one? Um, asking for direction, but... I think mm -hmm. direction. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yeah, that was um, unit number one. It was asking for directions and places in town. Gabriela, can you mention some places in town? Mm, a mall. Restaurant, the post office, supermarket, um, pet shop, park, okay, very good, yeah, excellent, excellent, hey, that's why it is very important, guys, to have your notes. Gabriela ahorita vio sus notas y se recordó de la unit number one. Okay, very good. Excellent. Vamos a ver si Gris tiene sus notas también. Gris, what was 
Unit two about. What was unit two about? <clears throat> I think you are muted. Um, <laughs> the unit two? Yes. Uh, you are going to? The celebration. Okay, very good. Yeah, number, yeah, unit number two was going to, okay? Going to, and we also learned some um, future statements or uh, phrases for future, like tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, okay? Very good. So, uh, Dagoberto, think quick, pensemos rápido. How do you say? Yo voy a viajar a Italia el siguiente año. I'm going to travel um, Italia. To Italy. Uh, Perdón. To Italy. To Italy uh, next year. Very good, excellent, very good. I like it, you learn it. Así me gusta, así aprendimos algo en las dos units. Very good. Uh, Mayra, okay, Mayra, para que no se nos duerma, y veo que tiene cara de quererse dormir, mentiras. Mayra, can you tell us some directions in English? ¿Una dirección en inglés? No, directions, indicaciones de cómo llegar a un lugar. ¿Cuáles son las que ocupamos? Uh, cross, take the right, take oh. the left, and quiero ir between opposite between eh, creo que es between ajá uh, okay eh, block and go straight o algo así go straight eso <laughs> very good guys thank you so much Maida very good now taking advantage that you have something to uh, write things down if you want, you can write down the pronunciation, okay? The pronunciation. También pueden escribir, decirme, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Puede escribir en, ahí en la pantalla cómo se pronuncia eso y guardan la pronunciación, okay? Ponen ahí cómo se pronuncia para que dentro de dos semanas yo les digo, hey, que vimos en la unidad tres, ustedes van a decir, oh, unit three, it was about, y me dicen las cosas bien pronunciadas. Very good, good job. That's a nice idea, yes or yes. Es una idea chévere, sí o sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Very good, guys. So we are so happy today porque van a descansar jueves y viernes. Por eso estamos felices. Aparte de que estamos in the English class. Okay, very good. So we are going to start with today's topic. Okay. Here we have the first slide for today. All right. Very good. I want to see Nelson, welcome to class tonight. Welcome, and Nelson, can you help me read this? Only the question. And Yuli, can you help me read the answers? We have two questions. Nelson, you ask the two questions. And Yuli, you can help me with the answers. Can you do that, guys? Yes? You are muted, Nelson. Yes. Thank you, Julie. Nelson, can you unmute? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's go, guys. Both of you, let's go. What are tasks? They are banana. Do you like pink? Yes, I like pink. Okay, an applause for them, guys. An applause for them. Ooh, very good. Excellent. Guys, very good. Thank you so much for modeling this. Guys, repeat everybody. Everybody, please repeat. What are those? What are those? 
Those. Those. Very good. What are those? What are those? those. those. Excellent. Excellent. They are bananas. They, they are bananas. bananas. Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? Them. Them. Very good. Do you like them? Yes, I like them. I like, yes, I, I like them. them. Very good. Yes, I like them. Okay, now listen to me, guys, so you can then imitate me. Okay, listen to me, please, everybody. Listen to me. What are those? They are bananas. Do you like them? Yes, I like them. Okay, very good. Now, Nelson and Julie, one more time, please. Can you help me read this? What are those? Judy? No escuché. What are those? Uh, they are banana. Do you like them? Them. Yes. Do you like them? Yes, I like them. Okay, very good. Thank you so much again, guys. Very good. Good job. Uh, now, Julie, what we are going to work on is the final sound, okay? The final sound, el sonido final de banana, okay? For plural is S. So we say bananas, okay? Please repeat, bananas. 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 Excellent, that is plural. Bananas. Because if you said they are banana, it's only one, okay? So they are bananas, very good. And the pronunciation for this, everybody, is them. 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 Exactly, them. 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 Look at my lips. Them. 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 Very good. Do you like them? Yes, I like them. Very good job. Thank you so much. And now, let me see who wants to participate. Who wants to participate now for the next one? Easy. No? No volunteers? OK, yeah. we are going to see. OK. Yeah. Okay, Gris, very good, thank you. Gris and Gabriela, please. Gris and Gabriela, please help me read okay. this. Uh, chocolate, before you start, repeat guys, chocolate. 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 Very good, excellent. So Gris, please ask the questions and, Gab and Gabriela, please, the answers, okay? Okay. Good okay. job, let's go. What is that? It is chocolate. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Okay, very good, perfect. I like this, very good. Excellent, both of you, you did an excellent job. Muy buen trabajo, very good. So guys, did you hear, what is that? Okay, what is that? It is, Chocolate is not, it is. When we have an, a consonant like T, it's a consonant, and then we have a vowel, we uh, link the sounds. It is, okay, it is. It's not it is with a pause, but it is chocolate. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Guys, ¿qué significa la, la primero? Acá, ¿qué significa la, la pregunta? What is that? Que es Excellent. Exactly. And what is the answer? Es un chocolate. Esto es un chocolate. Very good. Do you like it? Te gusta el chocolate. Te gusta. Hey, very good. Alguien dijo, te gusta el chocolate. Ok, ustedes se identifican Pero, con qué? Que it es el chocolate. Entonces, eso es exacto. El chocolate es It. De eso estamos hablando. ¿Te gusta a ti esto? Y digo esto hablando del chocolate. Son muy bien. Alguien quien lo dijo muy bien. Yes. I like it. Me gusta. I like it. Very good. Sí, me gusta esto. Ok. Me gusta el chocolate. Very good. Excellent. So, pay attention to las cosas rojas, guys. Pay attention to this. 
the red things because that is related to the topic for today. Eso es relacionado al tema de hoy, a lo que vamos a aprender. Ahorita lo estamos usando, todavía no sabemos el por qué, ok, pero lo vamos a entender luego con la explicación. Very good. And here we have something else. Very good. The Beatles, ok. We have the next one. Dagoberto, you are going to help me with the questions, ok. And Abby, you are going to help me with the answers. Ok, guys, are both ready? Dagoberto, are you ready? Who are they? They are the Beatles. Do you know them? No, I don't know them. Okay, good job. Thank you. Perfect pronunciation, both of you guys. Very good. So, Dagoberto, can you help me? What is the meaning of your first question? Lo que le preguntó, ¿qué le dijo usted a ella? Um, ¿Quiénes son ellos? Excellent, very good. And what was your answer, Abby? Ellos son los Beatles. Very good. ¿Y ¿Qué le pregunto usted después, Dagoberto? Um, um, no. No. Somebody else, guys? Somebody else in the class? Tú sabes de ellos. sabes quiénes son ellos? ¿Conoces a ellos? Excellent. Los conoces tú a ellos. Them. Ok. I don't say they. ¿Cómo se dice ellos en inglés? They, ¿verdad? They. Ahora estamos aprendiendo que también them sirve para decir ellos, ¿ok? O para referirnos a los Beatles, ¿ok? They. Cuando decimos they, ¿a quién nos referimos aquí? A ellos. A ellos. ¿A quiénes ellos? Los Beatles. Los Beatles. Y cuando decimos them aquí, ¿a quién nos referimos? A los Beatles. A los Beatles también. Entonces ya vamos a aprender por qué a veces decimos they y por qué sometimes we say them. So that is what we are going to learn, the difference between subject and object pronouns. So good job, guys. Good, good pronunciation and everything. Let me see. Who hasn't participated? I think you have a cat, Maida, right? Or is that a dog? <laughs> no, it's a dog. <laughs> Largo. Okay, Largo, ladies. <laughs> Don't be mean. Okay, uh, let me see. Gabriela and Cesar, are you there? Oh, Gabriela already participated. <clears throat> Cesar is there. Okay, very good. Hi. Okay, Cesar, thank you. I guess someone was joining. No. Okay, Cesar. Hi. Thank you, Cesar. And Gabriela, are you there? Oh, Marisa. Ah, but she will not know what we are doing. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Gabriela, can you help Cesar, please? Gabriela, you ask the question, please. Cesar, you answer the questions, please. Okay. Yeah. okay. Who is she? She is Dua Lipa. Do you like her? Yes, I like her. Excellent, guys. Good job. Very good. So, Gabriela, what is the meaning of your first question? Quién es ella? Very good. And what is the answer, Cesar? Ella es Dua Lipa. Very good. What is the other question? ¿Te gusta ella? Sí, me gusta ella. Excellent, guys. Very good. One more time. We have she, and that is referring to Dua Lipa. Okay. And her, that is referring to Dua Lipa. Okay, so guys, that is what we are going to learn today. Okay, this is what we are going to learn today. Very good. So thank you, Gabriela, and thank you, Cesar. Very good job. Okay, and this is what we okay. are going to learn today, guys. So object pronouns. Guys, please repeat with me. Object pronouns. Object, object pronouns. pronouns. Very good. If I ask you in three weeks, 
hey, what did we learn in unit three? You are going to say, teacher, we learned object pronouns. Okay, very good, object pronouns. And what are object pronouns? Can you help me read this? Um, Gris, can you help me read this definition? Okay. Um, they are pronouns that are the object of a verb or preposition. Very good. Excellent. Good reading. Okay. They are pronouns that are the objects of a verb or preposition. Sounds very good. Pero que significa esto? Ah, here we have an example. I have a dog. I really love it. What is, uh, what are we referring to with this it? To I or to the dog? The dog. The dog, okay. We use it for animals. So I love me or I love the dog? I love the dog. I love the dog. Very good. Okay, guys. So basically what we refer to this is who is receiving the action. The action is the verb. Love is the action. Who is receiving love? I know I'm giving love. And who is receiving the dog, okay? So an object pronoun is the object of the verb, okay? The one that receives the action. Um, I call my mom. Who is receiving the action? My mom, okay? So I can say, I call her. Not I call she, but I call her, okay? Very good. So we are going to learn more about these guys. If this is confusing for you right now, don't worry, we have a video, okay? Very good. Okay, give me one moment so you can listen to the video. Guys, and please pay attention, okay? Después del video, vamos a chequear si hemos aprendido un poco, si hemos entendido, pero veámoslo. No lo voy a pausar. No lo voy a pausar. You please just pay attention, okay? Good. What are pronouns? Pronouns are short words that can replace nouns. For example, the pronoun them can replace the noun cats. What is an object pronoun? An object pronoun is a pronoun that comes after the verb in a sentence. For example, in the sentence my mother feeds them every morning. The pronoun them comes after the verb feeds. <coughs> Singular object pronouns in English are me, you, him, her, and it. Plural object pronouns are us, you, and them. Me. The nurse gave me a shot. You. The dentist told you to open your mouth. Him. The baker gave him a cookie. Her. The server brought her a sandwich. It. The woman took it to the vet. Us. The teacher gave us a lot of homework. You. The coach told you both to run every day. Them. The librarian told them to be quiet. Let's compare subject and object pronouns. For the first person singular, the subject pronoun is I, and the object pronoun is me. For the second person singular, the subject pronoun is you, and the object pronoun is also you. For the third person singular, 
the subject pronouns are he, she, and it, and the object pronouns are him, her, and it. For the first person plural, the subject pronoun is we, and the object pronoun is us. For the second person plural, the subject pronoun is you, and the object pronoun is also you. For the third person plural, the subject pronoun is they, and the object pronoun is them. Okay, guys, I pause it because it's very important. This is the chart that we are going to use, okay, to use this object pronouns. Guys, if you want, you can please take a picture of this or you can also copy them on your notebooks, okay? Uh, because this is very important, okay? So you can copy them if you want. It's very important. I can give you some time to do that. Could you copy them? Alguien los va a copiar? O oh, solo le tomaron una screenshot? That, that is the same thing, okay? Very good. Okay, so it seems you screenshot this. So let's move on. Um, but please repeat, guys, so we can try to get used to this. Uh, repeat, guys. I. 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 Me. I, me. me. You, 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 he, him, he, 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 him. him, she, her, she, her, it, 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 okay, we, 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 we us, 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 you, you. You, 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 they, them, they, they, them. them. Excellent, very you guys, very good guys. So only you, please. Solo ustedes. One, two, three. I, 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 I me, 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 you, we, you, you, he, 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 she, she, he, her, 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 we, we are you, 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 me. So you digo you, you. Okay. Very good. So let's start quickly. Gabriela, she. There. Very good. Cesar, we. We, you. No. Us. Okay. It's us. Us. Very good. Dagoberto, I. Me. Very good. Avi. Mm, she. There. Very good. Mayra, it. 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 Very good. Nelson, they. Hey. Um. Very good. Um, next one is for, let me see. Gabriela, the Beatles. Them. Yeah. Excellent, very good. Mayra, my mom. Her. Very good. Julie, my son. Um, him. Very good. Nelson, um, my students. Uh, him. Very good. Hey, guys, you are so smart. Son tan inteligentes. Super nice. 
I like it. I love it. Very good. So you got it. So let's see what else do we have here. So you got it. Some Look practice. Look at the picture and the subject pronoun and say or write the object pronoun. For example, I, me. Very good. Now you try. Okay, now it's our turn, guys. It's nuestro turno hoy. Vamos a, nos van a decir aquí qué, cuál es el subject, y nosotros todos, cualquiera, o todos juntos decimos the object, okay? Ready, guys? Okay, very good. So let's go. Uh -huh. you. 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 <clears throat> Excellent. Him. 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 Okay, him. Okay, good. Excellent. It. It. Very good. It's a dog. If you see the picture, it's a dog. It's an animal. We. Us. 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 Very good. Very good. You. 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 Good. You. Excellent. Them. 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 Okay. Them. Thanks for watching. Okay, very good. Super easy for you guys. I know it's too easy for you. It's muy fácil para ustedes, but anyway, thank you so much for helping me completing this. So very good. So now we have some other practice, okay? So it says, let's get some practice. Let's go. Here we have the practice. It's, hey, do you remember this? Okay, the ones that are in the computer, you can join this, okay? The ones that are in the computer, you can join this. I'm going to share the link, okay, in the chat, okay? I'm going to share the link in the chat. You just click the link, okay? You just click the link. I put it on the chat. So you can click the link and let me make it public here. Okay, you can try to join, very good. Try to join. I'm going to put the link again in the chat. Okay, you already joined, very good. That is the link. Okay, guys, if you have, if you don't have your, if, if you're just using your cell phone, don't do it. Si están usando su teléfono, no se metan al link, ¿ok? Prefiero que se queden acá viendo cómo trabajan sus compañeros. Si ustedes les pueden ayudar, decirle, hey, muevan ese, she, no va allí. O aquel va primero, ¿ok? No importa. Y si sí, teléfono, go to the link, ¿ok? And participate. Tiene que poder mandar el link otra vez. ¿Mande? Puede mandar el link para conectarme al teléfono. El link a donde lo mando. Ah, uh, uh, siempre al chat de, del Zoom. Okay, good. All right, very good. There you go. Okay, guys, very good. Um, let me see who is here. Hay alguien ya aquí adentro, guys? No. No? Ok, Mayra está dentro ya. Yo vi que alguien había entrado. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Here. Yo entré, pero no puedo mover. Okay. ok, denle uh -huh. click. Yo entré también, pero link. no lo puedo mover. Denle click al último link. Es que no había puesto los permisos de que lo modificaran. Ahora sí, si se van al chat, el último link, ese sí les debe funcionar. Ok. Thank you. Tampoco se puede mover. Hmm, let me see here. Oh, lector dice. Ok, editor. Done. Ok, ahora sí deberían poder mover.
Yes. No. 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 Okay, let me refresh this. Solo lo voy a refrescar. Okay, ahora sí ya veo a alguien que está acá. Yo. Si Yo también. No pueden mover. Pero no puedo mover. Sí, sí, se puede ya. Ya lo estamos viendo. No, no se puede. Ah, pues váyanse al último link porque ya hay tres personas moviendo ahí. Váyanse al último link. Ok, guys, los que ya están ahí, veo que hay tres ya. Armen oraciones, please. Ok, poniendo en el correcto lugar el, el object y el subject pronoun. Ok, lo mismo que hicieron ayer. Ayer lo hicieron súper rápido. Ok, let's try to do that. Ok, we have she here. Se los voy a poner aquí más cerca. Okay, very good. Um, difficult, guys. I see you're having issues with this. She, it, I, love. Mm -hmm. We don't okay. have one yet. I, she, her, no. En primera persona, yo te quiero. I love you. Hay que falta you. I, I love you. <coughs> It's. Teacher, no sé por qué las estoy eliminando. No, no, por favor, no las elimine. Ok. She's, Let me see. She's, I like. Bueno, le voy a dar aquí regresar. Yeah. Si las eliminaron, volver, pero. No, creo que no las eliminaron. ¿Cómo no borré el it? Usted, ah, usted fue. Vale. Sí. Vaya, puede crear una aquí. Mira donde dice nota adhesiva. Ahí le da aquí. It. Te va a guardar y ya aparece de nuevo. Ok. Ya está ahí. It, de nuevo. Ok. Let's go. Guys, pero she want calls them. No, no está correcta. She want calls them. No, no está correcta. She's. She's one. She want calls her. No, it's not no. correct. No. Calls. ¿Cuándo usamos calls, guys? ¿Cuándo, nos, ¿Cuándo le ponemos S aquí al verbo? Plural. Plural. Oh, eh, eh, sí. Si fuera llamadas, sí está correcto, es plural. Pero este lo puse yo como verbo, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo le agregamos S al verbo? Cuando, Cuando hablamos de tercera persona. Tercera persona. Excelente, excelente. Entonces va después de he, she, or it. Eh, sí. Entonces no hay. She calls she, them. She, Ahí tienen una buena. Aquí tienen otra. Very good. Ahí las tienen las tres, guys. Very good job. Like Excellent. Wow. Good job. She's ok, vamos a hacer otra oración. She calls them. ¿Qué quiere decir esta oración? She calls them. She calls them. Ella lo llamará. Ella. Uh -huh. No, no es futuro, guys. No es futuro, es presente. Ella está llamándoles. Okay. No es continuo, es el presente simple. ¿Ella llamará? No, future. ¿Ella les llamará? ¿Ella les llama? No, ella los llama a ellos, ¿ok? Ella los llama a ellos, es simple, es presente simple, ¿ok? They are going future. So, ella los llama a ellos, ¿ok? Very good. Uy. Ok, y el otro, she doesn't like her. ¿Qué quiere decir she doesn't like her? A ella no sí. le gusta. No le gusta. A ella no le gusta. Ella. 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 Ok, a ella no le gusta. Ella. Ok, very good. Pero yo podría decir, mi mamá no le gusta. A mi mamá no le gusta Dua Lipa. Entonces yo voy a decir, my mom or she doesn't like her. 
Ok. She se refiere a my mom, que es la que a quien no le gusta. Y ella es oh, quien no le gusta. Ok. Very good. I love it. Esto está bien. I love it. ¿Qué quiere decir I love it? Yo amo esto. Yo amo esto. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, hey, do you like English? Yes, I love it. Hey, do you want to go to the gym? Yes, I love it. Hey, do you want to get up early in the morning? Yes, I love it. Okay, very good. Yes, I love it. Sí, yo amo esto. Okay. Por ejemplo, uh, hey, do you like um, Bad Bunny? Yes, I love it. Oh, oh, do you like rock music? Yes, I love it. Okay, very good. So it refers to something. Mayra, do you like Bad Bunny? No, I don't like. <laughs> okay, I don't like it, him, her, them, or us. Me. No, me no, porque ustedes quieren, no lo quieren. Uh, him. I. I don't like him. Very good. I no, I don't like him because Bad Bunny is so him. Very good job. Excellent, guys. Now, if you go to the second one, go to the second one, guys. Here we have another another um, practice. Okay, put this into this conversations, not conversations, but sentences or questions. Okay. Uh, para los que están allí trabajando. Váyanse a la parte de arriba, acá, y le dan a la flechita de la derecha. Ok, ya están ahí dibujando. Ok, very good. Good job, guys. Let, let's go ahead and do that. Vamos a ver si hay unos todavía. Aquí hay unos todavía de este lado. Le dan clic aquí y se van acá. Ok. Cristiano Ronaldo y Super. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Super popular. Ok. Very good. The next one, guys. Le pueden ayudar ahí. Here. No, no le cambien nada a las. Okay. Him. Ah, oh, no, hair. Hair es arriba. Ajá, arriba. Okay. Do you, do you think so? Queen is a great band. A great band. It's like the Beatles. Queen is another great band like the Beatles. Like her. Beatles. Abajo. As. Ah, uh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Y por qué pusieron? <laughs> Le dieron vuelta. Le pusieron. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me try to fix it. Means I correct them to you okay. like. Okay, there you go. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. As va con Cristiano. Okay, we can move here the sentence. Okay, but uh, you know. As va en la segunda. As with Cristiano. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay, guys. Very good. Lo vamos a dejar así y vamos a revisar. Very good. Mayra, can you help me read the first one? Uh, Ken is great fun. Do you like them? Okay, aquí estamos tapando una, una letra, okay? Queen, remember Queen. 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 queen is great fun. Do you queen. like them? Very good, very good. Queen is a great band. Great. Okay, um, great band. Do you like them? What does that mean? Great. Queen is a great band. Great. 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 A fantastic band. Okay, very good. Do you like Queen, guys? No, I don't like. Hey, very good. No, I don't like them. Them, very good. No, I don't like them. Very good. Okay, very good. So, them. Is this correct one, guys? Yes. 
Yes, it's correct. So we are going to <coughs> uh, here. It's correct. Okay, very good. All right, Chris. Um, let me see. Nelson, help me with this one. Cristiano Ronaldo is super football. Everybody knows him. Knows him. Very good. Is that correct, guys? Yes, yeah. it's correct. Okay. And what is the meaning of this in Spanish, Nelson? Cristiano Ronaldo is super popular. Everybody is. No me acuerdo qué significa. Todos. Todos. Todos lo saben. Todos lo saben. Knows. Conocen. Todos conocen. Lo conocen. Todos lo conocen. Everybody. Todos okay. lo conocen a él. Exacto. Aquí sería la traducción como Cristiano Ronaldo es muy popular. Todo mundo lo conoce. Oh. All right. Very good. Good job. Your, uh, and Abby, can you help me with this one? Uh, your mom was looking for you call her. Very good. For you, we have a comma. Okay. We have a pause. Hacemos una pausa. Um, for you, call her. Very good. Your mom was looking for you. Call her. Okay. Tu mamá estaba buscándote. Llámala. Okay. Very good. Entonces, eso está correct. Okay. Very good. And the last one is, um, let me see. Julie, can you no. help me with this? Oh, okay. We have a volunteer. The teacher is, is a good person and he loves us. He loves or he loves? No. He loves us. Very good. And what are you saying, Julie? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? ¿Qué está diciendo con esto? El profesor es, es buena persona y los quiere a todos. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. All right. And why do we use S here, guys? ¿Por qué usamos esta S en el verbo love? Tercera persona. Tercera persona. Tercera persona. Tercera persona. That's wonderful. Okay, guys. So very good. Um, fue un tema demasiado sencillo, right? It was a piece of cake for you. Teacher, tengo una duda. Yes. ¿Por qué en esa oración de teacher es is, is? No, ustedes pusieron el otro is. Ándale. <laughs> okay, very good. Let me, is. Is is wrong, guys. Let me see here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Or oh, yes, I will. Okay. Is a good person. No, maybe no, not you. Maybe I did that mistake. Cuando yo la creé, creo que hice el mistake. Then. Okay. So, guys, thank you, Mayra. Very good. Um, all right, guys. As I said, you are very intelligent. And you got it quickly. Okay. So, good. Um, let me see here. I guess this is all we have for today. So good. Guys, what did you learn today? Oh, we had a game for today, but we don't have enough time to play the game. No tenemos tiempo suficiente para jugar el juego. We are going to play the game next class. Alguien que me traduzca lo que acabo de decir. We are going to play the game in the next class. La siguiente clase jugaremos el juego. Excellent. Yes, very good. Vamos a jugar el juego. Vamos a jugar. Yeah, very good. Remember, guys, if you say we'll play, we will play, ahí es jugaremos. Si decimos we are going to play, vamos a jugar. Pero lo importante es que lo entendió muy bien, Maricela. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, very good. So I want to know if you like the class tonight. Yes, so so. Gabriela, did you like the class tonight? So so. <laughs> so so. Okay, that makes me sad. Okay, right. Okay. I like teacher. Okay, you <laughs> like it. Okay, very good. Next time we are going to have more time to play the game. Okay. But did you learn, Gabriela? Did you learn today? Yes. Yes. Very Pero hizo parte del juego. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Very good. Más si no pueden ingresar, por ejemplo, Gabriela está desde su teléfono, no puede ingresar a, a mover ahí las, las piecitas. Entonces voy sí, a... Que, eh, a mí me pidió descargar, descargar la aplicación y ya cuando la descargué ya pude entrar. 
Ah, ok, sounds good. No sabía. En que el se... teléfono. All right, very good. En el teléfono, ok. Entonces, next time, Gabriela, you can download an app, it seems, and you can join and play, ok. Ok. Ok, thank you so much. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. Remember that you make me happy, ok. If you are here, you make me happy. Um, you are my favorite class. So, no, mentira, no, no tengo clase favorita, pero si, tu, si tuviera que tener una clase favorita, ustedes serían mi clase favorita, guys. Así es que, will I see you now? Oh, as I said, creo que, creo que Nayib dijo que no vamos a venir el viernes. I don't know. Eh, como es algo que se ha surgido hoy, no nos han dicho nada. Les voy yo a hablar en el grupo de si venimos o no el viernes, ¿ok? Y si dicen que no hay clases el viernes, entonces lastimosamente nos vamos a ver hasta el siguiente lunes. Pero el siguiente lunes, don't miss the class, ¿ok? Va a ser class number two. Tenemos la segunda parte de lo que vamos a aprender. Y ya el martes estaríamos en la speaking class. Este martes yo planeo darles toda la clase para que practiquen. Eh, antes de eso, guys, yo voy a sacar la lista de los temas que ustedes ya vieron en los anteriores cursos, porque ustedes ya son de Basic 3. Les voy a poner ahí los, los temas por si se les han olvidado y ustedes le ponen ahí un chequecito si ya se los aprendieron o si los tienen que volver a estudiar. Ok, guys. Ok. Thank you. Sir, una consulta. Si no tenemos clase el viernes, tendríamos que reponerla la próxima semana, ¿verdad? Tendríamos, de hecho, deberíamos dos clases, creo yo. Ah, no, no, no. no una. Tendríamos que trabajar los cinco días. La, bueno, yo trabajar, ustedes venir a la clase nada más, los cinco días de la semana. Sí, lunes a viernes. Ok. Guys, something important. Trabajen en la, en la, en las, plataforma. en la plataforma. Yes, please work on the platform, guys. It's very important. Hay temas que no los vamos a ver aquí. Acá solo es un refuerzo de lo más importante, pero allá hay temitas que son también importantes y no los damos en la clase de refuerzo, ¿ok? Okay. okay. It was nice to see you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Sleep well. Bye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye.